What is happening people? It's Gavs from Gavs Reptiles. Today is a good day. It is the unveiling of the leopard geckos. Two females, one male, and um, such a big moment for me. I want to uh, start by thanking my mum, start by thanking all my fans. No, just kidding. I'm going to get into it for you, okay? So, here we go. Now, I just do want to try and be a little bit quiet with these guys. Um, first thing I want to say before we get into the unboxing of these is if it's your first ever reptile, lizard, whatever, this is a good lizard. Be warned, they are going to make you happy. You are going to fall in love with this. All right? Um, if it's not and you're just getting into breeding, maybe like me, it's always, always worth marking on the boxes who is what and what is which. Yeah? Um, so. I am going to be putting one of the females straight back into the box just so I can know who's who from the labelling but this is how they come, I just went and picked them up from the pet store, I went in, well it's not the pet store, it's my local reptile shop, alright, um, they're going to have most things that you want in there, I'm probably going to do a video of a visit going to there. Um, just so people who've never been to one or might even be a bit nervous going to one. I don't know why, but maybe you are I'm gonna do a video on that. But these guys are beautiful. So I'm just gonna get them out gently. Here's the first female. Okay, we'll have a quick look at her. It might be a little bit scary because they're kind of taken out of their their main well they're taken out of their other home so be prepared that they might be a little bit whoa the last thing you want to do guys is hold it by its tail never ever ever try and stop it from running away by grabbing its tail no 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 their tail will fall off yeah, and when it grows back, it will grow back with these guys, okay, which is a bit of a saving grace, I guess, for these guys. It never grows back the same. Never. Yeah, the reason that they do that is out in the wild. So these guys are from places like Pakistan and places like that, okay. Um, and they're not exactly your biggest sort of predator, are they? Do you know what I mean? This isn't going to start taking out snakes and other animals. These guys live on little bugs. Yeah, they spend most of the day inside. They actually, during the day, they actually sleep. Yeah, and they come out at night, which is one of the reasons why they don't need UV. They need vitamin D3 still, supplements calcium to help them survive, but they don't need UV lighting. Okay, um, let's just get her out. She's probably ready to bolt, so. I might just be. I used to have, I used to have one of these. I've had one of lizard, bearded dragons, obviously other snakes. Um, but you want to just keep them calm. Never pick them up by their tail. Just gently, gently pick her up. All right, and just sort of keep her supported. I'm just going to get a bit of a close-up for you with her. And that's how beautiful she is. Which is just insane, right? That's how pretty she is. And I just love these little lizards. They're just, for a first pet, they're just perfect. Try and be calm. The calmer that you are, she's probably been handled very, very little in her um, time of being alive, yeah? Look how pretty she is, they're amazing. She's just got, she's got pure black eyes as well. Um, yeah, basically the calmer that you can be around these guys, the calmer they will be with you. They, 
are just the nicest little lizard to have about. Eventually, what you'll get the stage to is, is they'll just you'll just kind of sit on your shoulder. You can kind of sit down and watch TV with these guys. Always keep an eye on them. Don't let your cat, your dog, anywhere near them. These guys are fragile. Really, when you are handling them, you want to be sort of sat down, quite calm. You don't want to be running around with them. If you drop them, it's likely to hurt them. What I'm going to do, because the two females are going to be living together in here, and the male is going to be living underneath them, I'm just going to slam her in her little pot. Okay, so these are like different sort of um, variations, by the way, of the the Max Snow. I wanted to get Max Snows and kind of make Super Snows eventually as a little project. Um, my last one was a Max Snow Eclipse female. That's cool. Um, this this is a female as well. I'm gonna leave her. I'm gonna take her out quick. And I'm gonna put her straight back because I need to. Um, I want to take photos of the way they are and so that I'm you know I'm not gonna lie so I don't get confused that's just me being honest I'm just gonna take her out she is Wow just gently kind of stop them from bolting out just lift them up from the from the side it's rare that you'll get a bite from these guys ever I could nearly guarantee that they'd never bite you. Just be calm and nice around them, slow. Um, and if they did ever bite you, which I doubt they ever would, they don't really have teeth, so you wouldn't really feel it. It would kind of be comical in a way. Um, but if they're biting you, they're probably stressed out. Give them a bit of space, do you know what I mean? So. Obviously try and keep them supported. Um, their tail is obviously very, very important to them. Um, but yeah, they'll drop their tail. If a predator is chasing them um, and they feel threatened enough, normally as they're running away, the, the predator will grab that tail, they'll wiggle off, the tail stays behind, still wiggling. That predator is then happy with a little bit of meal it's got. He can then jog on, do you know what I mean? With its life. So I'm just gonna pop her back in into a little pot just so I can keep on keep um I can just label them correctly basically and this guys this is the male this is the man of the moment this is his big time he's got a pretty decent life really it's gonna get a nice little space. I'm gonna get them exercise enough as well, have them out and about. I'm gonna feed them pre-fed crickets and mealworms and make sure that their, their food is pre-loaded. I'll feed their food well. Does that make sense? Um, so that these guys are just in top health. Um, he, he is actually already reasonably chilled out. He's got his eyes closed for some reason. But, um, let's have a look at him. Again, when you're unboxing him, just kind of cover the front, cover him up, and just lift him up from underneath. So he's a bit more wriggly straight away. I don't want to alarm him, so I'm just going to lift him up gently. Just 
put a bit of support under him. We just come a bit closer to the camera. Um, he's a bit, bit, bit wriggly. Again, like I said, don't pick him up by their tail. Don't if he's trying to wriggle off. Don't get that tail. But that's how that's how that's how pretty that's how pretty they are. He's pretty stressed, so I'm just gonna get him. I'm gonna get him into his little viv because he's had a stressful journey. Do you know what I mean? He's been taken out of his normal home. There you go. He's gone straight into his hard. Um, he's gone into his normal home, and <laughs> he's um, you know he's come here and he's been picked up by someone he's never seen before. Um, I mean, I know I'm good looking, but the lizard don't care one single bit about that. Do you know what I mean? As always, got my cup of tea and my favourite mug. Yeah, that mum bought me, little mummy's boy, that's fine. But that was the unboxing of my um, leopard gecko. So I want to let you know my intentions with these guys. Two females, one male. I let you do the mass. These guys are going to be breeding for me. Um, I'm going to be making my own incubator potentially. So that might be a video coming up. So if you're looking at getting into breeding, which is kind of why I'm doing these videos, um, then let's, let's kind of do it together. But hopefully I've helped out. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the unveiling of my new members of my family. Please like and subscribe to my videos. It would make my day. I'm new to this. Um, I've got like eight subscribers at the moment. It takes you two seconds. Slam a subscribe on there. Um, I'm going to keep making these videos. I'm going to get better as well. So, um, love you, bye.